Well, now to the rise to sainthood. There are just a few hours left until the canonization of two popes. It's early morning at the Vatican, where you can see thousands crowding the streets, hoping to witness history. New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan will be there, front and center. CBS 2's Tony Aiello caught up with him in Rome. Good evening. Cardinal Dolan told me he greatly admires these two popes, John XXIII, who helped modernize the church by calling the Vatican II Council, and John Paul II, considered by many a hero for the ages for promoting the faith and helping to end communism in Eastern Europe. I spoke with Cardinal Dolan at the North American College, a seminary just 10 minutes from St. Peter's Square. Who the beer? <laughs> Cardinal Dolan, his humor intact after the long flight from New York to Rome. Thrilled, he says, to be near the altar for Sunday's historic canonization of two beloved popes. I'm going to be praying hard at Sunday Mass, and I'm going to be close to the action. And, uh, boy, that's almost as good as the Steinbrenner box at Yankee Stadium. So, <laughs> Pilgrims from every corner of the globe are trying to get close to the piazza. Earlier Saturday, people from John Paul II's hometown prayed the rosary as they waited to visit his tomb inside the basilica. One hundred nations are sending delegations to celebrate the new saints. That's what the world does with these two, uh, John the 23rd and John Paul II. So there's a connection there. There's a, it's, it's almost as like, like a heavenly embrace in these two people, and we need it. Monsignor David Casato of Brooklyn agrees. I got to tell you, John the 23rd and John Paul II were the most powerful part of my life, impact on my priesthood. People are camping out on sidewalks, police struggling to control the massive crowd. Even nuns weren't immune from efforts to keep the throng moving. Everyone wants to be able to say, I was there. Cardinal Dolan told me he is very happy to learn Emeritus Pope Benedict, who retired last year, will be attending the canonization tomorrow, which will be led by Pope Francis. Imagine that, two popes attending the canonization of two other popes. A day for the history books here in Rome. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And the celebrations extend around the world. In Brooklyn, an outpouring of pride and joy at St. Stanislaus Koska Roman Catholic Church in Greenpoint. A prayer vigil was held after tonight's Mass. We were waiting so long and we are so happy. This is the day we were waiting for. Uh... The church has close ties and a strong affection for Pope John Paul II. He was the first Polish pope in the Catholic Church's history, and he visited St. Stanislaus in 1969. Today with CBS2 for continuing coverage of the rise to sainthood. Tony will join us live all morning long tomorrow.